Are you ready for some Jersey? Well, we've got Jersey. The zipper was made here. The light bulb was made here. The color television calls the Garden State home. Everybody wants to know about New Jersey. Sandy beaches, beautiful cities. We even have the Jersey Turnpike. Inventors, music, the movies. You need an exit? We got them too. You want Jersey? This is Jersey. Welcome back to This is Jersey. We're here at the Rutgers Ethical Leadership Conference having a conversation with Barnabas Health Senior VP, Jennifer Velez. What are some of the issues that your colleagues have to deal with in the medical profession? So for example, one of the more exciting things that we were talking about today, I think, is um, the shift in healthcare to actually be more encompassing of human services in the health and human in a, in a health system, right? Mm -hmm. So for example, we had talked about the high cost of perhaps a senior you know, coming to a hospital inside the four walls of a hospital for a broken hip, right? And previously, and actually today and, and in our history, uh, healthcare was paid for by volume. So the more hips you did, the more you were paid, and that was a good thing. Now we're really shifting to value-based payments. So when you look at that senior who has broken his or her hip, before they get to the hospital, as we extend healthcare out into the community, one of the most important things we want to do is find out what's happening with that senior at home. So does that individual, does Mrs. Jones need, for example, a, a bar in her shower or some assistance in her living area so that she's not having those falls? So this is not about denying her care for her hip as a replacement or an injury, but instead helping her in the wellness of her life so that she never has to get to the hospital, if at all possible. The same really holds true with nutrition, right? So as people experience um, uh, you know, uh, acute diabetes and the complications that come along with that, with wound care and with losing eyesight, um, rather than pay for those very expensive procedures in a hospital setting, which will always be available, what we want to do is actually capture people in the community to live healthier lives. So the eye screening to catch problems earlier, the nutrition classes to help people make healthier choices, access to foods and knowing what to do with that, the education around that, or those kinds of choices that we were talking about a little bit earlier today, which is really exciting. It sounds like a holistic approach. It is a holistic approach. It's actually looking at you know, the term wellness has been used for some time now, but it really is looking at well care um, instead of simply health care in a hospital environment. And I think that, so as coming from a human services department in state government to join a health care um, system now is exciting because we are really, the dimension that we're adding um, is, the, is the human services element. To look at the social determinants of somebody's life and what could be used to help them in their own lives um, take control and manage their own health before they have to get to the four walls of the hospital. As Barnabas looks at the baby boomers, what are you doing to set up for this great generation who will be retiring and getting more ill? You know, people in the past, they go to who, who they trust. They trust their doctor, um, and that's where they'll go for care. Now, we need to have access to health care outside of a hospital necessarily, right? And we need to have people, when they take charge of their own health, and they want to manage the, the, I mean, some fingers are set by their own DNA, right? They're going to have, they're going to develop some acute illnesses. Um, but how to take charge of that earlier on, earliest on, so that things like, you know, uh, appropriate nutrition, appropriate exercise, screening for um, conditions early um, can lead them to engage with their healthcare professional um, before they get to a hospital setting. For some, it is, you know, at, at, and today for them, that point of entry is the emergency room. We really want to do is get some, somebody into ambulatory care settings where they can um, they can go in and out and not never have to get admitted to the hospital, but they can take care of their health care needs outside of that setting. On another note, New Jersey has had a lot of mergers of hospitals and Barnabas has been a part of that. Tell me, um, what do you think the future of health care is going to be? Are we going to see more mergers in New Jersey? I think some of those partners and collaborations, I think that there's a couple ways you can define merger. There's been hospitals defining it as a, as a uh, combining as a system. And there's also been an increased number of uh, collaborations with other natural partners. So one outside of a hospital that you talked about would be Barnabas Health's um, collaboration with, um, with ShopRite, for example. So when I talk about moving the health care, taking charge of your health outside of a hospital, some of that with respect to nutrition education is with an appropriate partner like ShopRite right, or with the YMCAs, or with other partners to keep people healthier. But I do think that natural partners come together where it makes sense for system partners to join. We will see some more that we have. Really, in the past two years, you've seen a tremendous amount of, of mergers of, of partners with like missions coming together. Are you seeing the Affordable Care Act as something good for health care? 
Absolutely, because A, people are, you know, just access to healthcare professionals earlier rather than in an emergent setting where they might be presenting uninsured. So now to have insurance, and the big issue is access. Will they have access to the primary care physician and any other um, care that they would need to keep themselves healthy? So having insurance is a huge benefit. Right, but you need to have access and then initiate that access when it's appropriate. Some of that comes from health education. I think that's really one of the more exciting things we're beginning to engage in. Finally, we'll hear from Ann Buckholz, a professor of ethics and leadership within the Institute. What are some of the things you teach those who are in ethics courses at Rutgers? Okay, well, they're all business students in my course and I teach them that, that well, life is filled with ethical dilemmas in general, and business in particular, will present them with many, and the higher they go in a corporation, the more wicked problems, difficult problems they have, and so they need to be prepared for the decision making involved. What are some of the challenges that young entrepreneurs or young business leaders run into when they start out in, in business? Well, uh, particularly in the beginning, their, their money can be tight, and so they can be tempted to take a shortcut and, and get money for themselves to the detriment of someone else and, and or not tell the truth to do it, to in some way be unethical and they need to know how to look that through, recognize what's unethical and what's ethical and then act accordingly. Tell us about the program at Rutgers and the ethics program that you uh, teach. Well, we have a wonderful ethics faculty. We're very fortunate in that regard because many Universities have maybe one person doing ethics. Uh, we, we have several devoted to ethics, and we offer every, both business undergrad and business MBA, a, a specific ethics course, and then we do everything we can to embed it ethics throughout the curriculum, because both are important. You need an ethics course to talk specifically about ethical decision making, but then you also need ethics to be part of every course that you take. Why is this conference here so important to uh, the, the leadership here, not only in New Jersey, but the nonprofits as well? Well, of course, New Jersey is the medicine cabinet of the world, and so here is a perfect place to do it, but health care is a critical issue for everyone. There, and certainly health care has many ethical dilemmas and wonderful people facing them, but to have a conference where they can talk them out, understand what's happening, what the future is, and what the problems have been, can only help. Thank you for joining us here in New Brunswick for this edition of This is Jersey. We'll see you again next time.